Okay, so we have some flickering lights. And so first thing we we'll want to do is check all these connections here. This is one of the easiest things to do. So this cover's got to come off. And we need to check all the connections. I don't get too close to these smart meters with this camera because I had one camera screw up on me with these smart meters. Okay, so I want to make sure all those connections are tight. Now, it's likely the in, inlets would be fine. The inlets are actually on an Allen head screw. These are going to be the outputs here down on the bottom. So we're going to check all those, make sure they're nice and tight, basically. Let me stick our screwdriver in, make sure they're all tight. Okay, so what we're doing is we're looking for branch, branch circuits, branch circuits in the socket. Now this is the only socket that works in the house. So it's very likely there's going to be a tie off from this one, basically a branch branching out to the other sockets. And so basically we're going to have to take this socket apart and then look and see um, if there's a loose connection in that socket. And so that's what we're going to do. Okay, you would think this would be a branch circuit because it's the only socket in the house that's got electricity, but it is not a branch circuit. So, we're going to have to check all these uh, sockets to make sure that, well, if that one's dead, it's probably not going to be a branch socket. So, it's throwing me at this point. I need to check all the check all the breakers at the main breaker box once again. There doesn't seem to be a breaker inside this house. So... Next, I need to check that breaker, the main breaker box. Okay, so basically we do have another socket that's working here in the kitchen. It's feeding the microwave and the refrigerator. It could be a branch circuit there. We also have these two GFIs. These GFIs could be bad as well. I've tried to reset these and they do not seem to reset. So it's likely that there's no power going to these GFIs, which I'll have to check as well. Okay, let's check that main breaker box again and make sure that every, uh, we have voltage coming out of all the uh, breaker switches. Okay, thank God we, we found it easy, easy out basically. We didn't have to pull all those branch circuits off and this breaker here, um, I use this meter here to test the draw basically on the system. It's not just a digital thing that's reading possibly static voltage. It will test the draw on these. So basically, this breaker right here is not working. And it seems to be intact, but it's just not working. So it needs to be replaced. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit sloppy. compared to that one. That one, this one is a little bit sloppy. So basically it's not pretty, putting out any voltage, so we need to replace that, and that will probably solve the problem. Okay, so when you're looking at these breakers, 
Make sure that we don't have any corrosion, major corrosion on the connections. And this one has got a little corrosion here on the sides of the connection. That could be the problem because when I cleaned that one up, it came back to life. It could be just a corrosion on the connections here. Thanks for watching. If you need any help, you can contact me, 707-443-8347. And it's mrmaintain at hotmail.com. I give advice over the phone for a donation and you can call me between the hours of 9 and 7 p.m. Pacific Time. Thanks again.